From December to January, we had to, like we were receiving application from musician and at the beginning of January, every video production had to choose one band or one artist. And I chose Les Solinac. I wanted to, I don't know, I was really interested in their, in their music concept, their music video concept. And also I was really trying to support the Francophone art this, in this time. So um, we started to really work on the storyboard and we started to film and we had to have a video done in like five or six weeks. I am I'm Celine Klein, um, the owner of Jamson Productions, an independent video production and photography production also in town. Um, yeah, thanks for, uh, for kind of being on today. Uh, just want you to yeah. focus on how you've been for the last, uh, I guess, almost eight weeks now. Yeah, it's a it's a really weird situation. I've been I've been okay. I'm living with my partner. Um, we try to stay busy and fine. It's just super weird, <laughs> but we have been good so well. Yeah. Because I know you uh, are mostly in the, with the music, the got, the got video, uh, so but the side of uh, the production and stuff. I'm not sure if you had any shoots cancelled because of COVID 19 and you can't, you can't go out and shoot music videos now. I had a few contracts I did not cancel, but my clients rescheduled, hopefully for the summer, and it was about music festivals. Uh, in June and July, so hopefully they are going to be in August and September, or maybe they are not going to exist at all this summer. Um, and I also had something else cancelled, it was some music during a Monday um, in some secondary schools in town. I was supposed to go there for some videos, but they also get cancelled. We don't know when it's going to be rescheduled, probably next year or now. Yeah, I think definitely. I think they got, this will hit the production industry very, very really hard because I find people they got they got they got they, got, they can't go out and shoot now, and there's still maybe some people have like post production work right now, but I'm not sure if you have like stuff you can edit in the meantime. But oh, oh I have I have uh, honestly anything to do right now. I don't have any. I did not. I finished all my contracts before the the COVID situation. Uh, I just have a few photos to edit for a musician. Except that, that's it. But yeah, it's a little bit scary because I try to to focus on musician and artist, and obviously we are not gonna have shows. So we, we are not gonna see any shows soon. So um, means no videos or photos also for me. So I don't know. It just, it's just a really weird situation and I have no idea what I should expect for my future career with Gemstone and what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think it's interesting with all the music uh, people that are doing like, live Facebook feeds and I think that would be one of the interesting productions that I think that you could, that people could, uh, the product, you know, production companies that are in the music so they, so that industry could actually do like live events like that or they could do go to someone's house or something and we could just keep that six feet at, like at a distance but still um, oh, definitely. definitely like if I if I knew in advance who were gonna play where if they play like outside of the house or something like I could definitely go there and uh, and film some some stuff. But that, yeah, that's good. Like the musicians are still doing some some live performance on Instagram and Facebook and everything. But it doesn't give me. I don't think it gives me a lot of a lot of. I don't know how to say. A lot of possibilities or options to make videos with that. I don't know. I think musicians found a way to still stay present and really supportive for COVID nineteen, but. I, I, 
I don't know. I actually don't know what I could do. Yeah, I think after all of this, I think it will straighten the music. I think music is really, really important to people right now too. So I think after all of this, people will invest more in the, the, just to create more music productions and stuff. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. I think it's gonna be really weird because I don't know. I'm just. I think a lot of bars and gigs are not gonna book any shows soon because they have no idea what's gonna happen and. Even when we're gonna stop the quarantine, we're still gonna have a lot of restrictions. So I just feel like no one knows when it's gonna be the first next show. Is it gonna be this year or next year? I saw an article talking about fall 2021. I don't know if it's realistic or not. Yeah, I think I think I was watching. Uh, we got it. We got it. Just Emily Fennell's. Uh... We got a live Facebook uh, interview last night too, and uh, we got we got the we got we got the, she was just saying that she it, it got canceled events for like June in July, but like still August and September we got we got it going forward it's still tentatively. So just doing okay. It. Oh, that's good. If if we, we if we start to have shows again at the end of the summer, that would be awesome. I just saw this article talking about next year, like fall twenty twenty one. Yeah. So far, but yeah. And uh, like, it is how are you doing personally and stuff with all this? Doing okay. Just depends on the week. Depends on the day. Sometimes really really sad and stressed out and not motivated at all uh, i feel like this quarantine is giving a lot of creativity or not to artists and i feel like i may be in the in the team not motivated i don't know it's super hard for me to be creative right now and do and do things like and not going outside so uh, yeah it's been it has been really, really weird. Probably some good news is that you actually won the, won the audience award for the film first for your music video. So. Yeah, but really awesome, honestly. Um, I was really, really surprised. I'm super happy we, we get this award. It was so great. We got, we got, the, we got this. Just tell us like a brief about the process of it that when you were treating it. Hmm? But your process of, of trading it and stuff, like what was the process when you uh, back the, pro yeah. the process of, uh, of a video production? Yeah. So um, uh, the Kingston Film Office organized this project with 15 local video productions. And um, from December to January, we had to, like we were receiving application from musicians and at the beginning of January, Every video production had to choose one band or one artist, and I chose Les Solilax. I wanted to, I don't know, I was really interested in their, in their music concept, their music video concept, and also I was really trying to support the Francophone art in this, in this time. So um, we started to really work on the storyboard, and we started to film, and we had to have a video done in like, five or six weeks mm. and, uh, and the screening at the film festival get cancelled an hour before mm. so it's really sad but it's yeah. okay at least they had a uh, one uh, like a one of the online premiere and stuff too so people could watch it yeah the online premiere was really good and I was so happy to see everybody's videos like they were honestly all so good like it's super nice to see that Kingston has so many talented people and creative people. Like the videos were so good. I was so happy. It's probably yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, we got a good way to end the, the podcast. I we got to thank you for being on uh, these episodes. We got to stay safe and. Thank you. 
You too. How, how are you doing? Good. Yeah, you've been doing okay in the quarantine? Yeah, just, been, just keeping busy by just doing all these interviews. And... That's great. Yeah. Cool.